Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Gautami from Freshers Camp. Hope you all are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do so and hit the bell button to get the latest updates. Today, I am going to talk about TCS NQT for Batch 2021. NQT stands for National Qualifier Test. Are you a 2021 graduate waiting for TCS Ninja 2021? Then your waiting will come to an end very soon as TCS will soon announce the TCS National Qualifier Test for 2021 batch candidates. Last year, TCS NQT was announced in June, but this year TCS Ninja for 2021 batch is delayed due to COVID-19 situation. However, TCS will soon release the TCS NQT 2021 exam date. Candidates are requested to visit freshersopenings.com regularly to get instant updates for various jobs and off-campus drive updates for 2021 batch candidates. The detailed eligibility TCS NQT exam pattern selection process are going to be discussed in this video. For the eligibility criteria, one must be a full-time graduate from BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC, MSc or MCA. And for undergraduate or postgraduate, one must have any engineering degree. One can have any engineering degree. And for MSc, one should have a computer science or information technology or any other related stream. For MCA, it must be with BAC, BCA, BCom, BA, which has to be with maths and statistics. Now, both TCS Ninja 2021 and TCS Digital Hiring 2021 are going to have four rounds. The first one is going to be online test, that is the TCS National Qualifier Test, the NQT, followed by the technical interview round, then the managerial interview round, and ultimately the HR interview round. Also, the overall gap in academic career should not exceed two years. The qualifying students are selected for TCS Ninja and TCS Digital Profiles. Further, the top performers for TCS Ninja hiring are also offered digital roles. Now, let us discuss a little about the rounds that I just mentioned. First comes the online test, that is the TCS National Qualifier Test, NQT. NQT is a 90 minutes online test that checks for basic aptitude, English, programming and coding knowledge. The candidates who clear the online test are called for the interview rounds. Next comes the technical interview round. In this interview round, it revolves around your profile, stream or specialization and academic subjects. You are expected to have a good grasp over the fundamentals of your subjects. The interview panel also may give you a question to solve or a code to write. Additionally, you are required to know about the applications of your technical subjects. Next comes the managerial interview round. In this round, you will come across general questions about your college, achievements, work experience, willingness to relocate, etc. There may be cross questions regarding the information that you have provided in your resume. In some cases, it can be a stress or pressure interview just to assess your reactions and behavior. Next comes the HR interview round. This round is conducted to gauge your overall personality, your strengths, weaknesses, hobbies, career plans, family background, etc. The panel may present you with some situations or scenarios and ask your opinion or solution for them. Now, as for TCS NQT 2021 exam pattern, it comprises of four sections, English, quantitative aptitude, programming concepts and coding. The first order or the first section is going to be English. It, is, it will contain 15 questions and you will have a duration of 10 minutes to attempt all the questions. Next comes the quantitative aptitude. In that section, you will also have 15 questions with a time duration of 30 minutes. Then you will be having the section for programming concepts with a number of 10 questions and a duration of 20 minutes. At last comes the coding part, which will contain only one question and that will have a duration of 30 minutes. That's all for today. 
Hope you liked our video. If you do so, then please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. See you soon in the next video and please do follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.